And we're going to work on strengthening the muscles around your knee joints. Now, this is perfect if you're coming back from a knee injury and or if you just want to strengthen the muscles around the knee, which are, is super important. Now, I'm going to work with a band and I have it tied around something that's really solid that's not going to move. Yeah. Um, so a flex band is perfect for that. So you do need to have something flexible and that's stretchy. Yeah. So let's go ahead and I'm going to slip my right leg through this loop. Now be careful because we're going to, you know, do a kind of a rounding of the spine and then um, take that leg through. So don't fall, please, as you're getting into that. Yeah. So I'm uh, moving back from that support uh, system and the band is really right behind the knee, right in that knee crease. Yeah. Um, and we'll do the other side in just a moment. Um, but as we're kind of strengthening this muscle, we do have to pay attention to the rest of the body. And so look down at your feet, make sure your toes are lined up and parallel, they're right underneath the hips. And we need to engage the abdominals here, as well as shoulders back, rib cage back, and then head back because we're in a standing position. I'm going to take my hands on my hips, yeah, but do whatever feels good for your arms here. Now exhale your air out and pull your abdominals in and up and hug your ribs in and down. We're going to do a small bend and stretch, keeping the heels down. So you're going to inhale, bend your knees and feel how the band pulls that knee slightly forward. And now exhale, straighten the legs and lengthen through the crown of the head, deepening the abs. We're going to go for 10 there. Inhale to bend. If this is painful, then you want to walk closer to your support system. And you can also do this without a band initially. So we're going to inhale to bend. Now exhale, deepen your abs, try to straighten the leg all the way and pull your kneecaps up. And so those muscles around the kneecap, that's the muscles we're, we're strengthening here. And that really helps to stabilize the, the knees as you're mobilizing through space. And you also want to feel your abdominals contract. Take a big inhale here and control the knee bend. And then exhale, lengthen and reach through the crown of the head, pull the kneecaps up. Good. We'll take about six more here. Inhale, control the knee bend. Exhale, control the knee straightening. Yeah, so anytime there's pain in the knees and, um, you know, as you're doing these small little uh, movements, that's, you know, an indication we need to strengthen the muscles around the knee. The muscles around the knee actually provide 80% provide of your shock absorption for your knee joint. So anytime you're doing something and your knees are painful, it's an indication you need to strengthen the muscles around the knee. And here we're working on your quadriceps. Pull your kneecaps up. We're going to take about three more here. Inhale. And exhale, deepening your abs, pull your kneecaps up. Good, inhale, breathing into the bottom lobes of the lungs. Exhale, deepening your abs. Good, let's do one more here. Inhale and exhale. Now we're gonna keep the band around the same leg and you're gonna turn sideways, yeah? So now the band is gonna be more on the inside and right above your kneecap. Um, once again, line your toes up. So make sure your toes are lined up. They're parallel there. And we're going to do the same movement. Now you've got the force coming from the side. And this is really key because this inside kneecap muscle is kind of like the abdominals of your knee. You got to get that muscle to fire in order to protect your knee anytime that you move. It's the same movement. Yeah, so as you bend, you want your knee to go straight forward. Yeah, so the band is going to try to push your knee out to the side. Don't let it. Yeah, knee goes straight forward. So you'll feel that inner thigh muscle. Now, as you straighten the leg, feel that inner kneecap muscle and pull your kneecap up. It's called your VMO. <laughs> it's a really important muscle for our knee health. And we're going to continue that. Inhale, bend. Exhale to pull the kneecap muscle up to... And we're going to 10. Inhale. This is so good to do. Actually, if you have knee issues or coming back from a knee kind of injury, twice a day, at least once a day. Inhale. 
got to get this muscle to fire. Exhale, pull your kneecap up. Again, staying as close as you need to, to, to your support system. Exhale, pull the kneecap up, deepening your abs. Good, paying attention to the upper body so that you're not kind of looking down at your knee if possible. Pulling the kneecap up. Let's take about five more. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Lifting up the abdominals, the kneecap. And inhale. Exhale. Pulling up on that patella. Bending the knee. And exhale. Don't let the band pull you around. You want to control that band as you're doing this bend and stretch. Exhale, three more. Inhale to bend. Exhale, two. Good. Do one more. Inhale and exhale. Good. Now to switch legs, I'm going to have you walk in a little bit closer. Yeah, so relax the band as you're taking your foot out. And we will get into the other leg. Let's do that on your other side. Good. Try to walk away either the same amount or, you know, it's okay if this is a different leg. I mean, well, it is a different leg, but you have different strength or kind of different kind of pain points as well. So we'll do the same thing here. Line your toes up, make sure they're parallel. Good. And then connect through the abdominals, ribs connected, shoulders back and chin back. Here we go. Inhale. Let's bend the knee control the knee bend, exhale, straighten the knee, pull your kneecap up, engage your abs, inhale to bend. Once again, just take stock. If it's too much resistance, walk closer. And if that's painful, take the band off, do the same thing without the band, exhale, pull it up. Good. Inhale here. Exhale, deepen your abs, pull your kneecap up. You're going to feel your glutes engage as well. Good. Everything is connected. So you want to feel everything uh, kind of contribute to the movement patterning here. Exhale, five more. Deepen your abs. So each time, feel like you're getting taller. Shoulders back, six. Good. Inhale. And exhale, seven, nice, inhale, and exhale, eight, good, and deepen your abs, exhale, nine, good, one more here, and exhale on 10. Now I'm going to take my back to you, now we're turning, so the band is on the inside of the knee. Pay attention to, and it's above the kneecap as well. Toes lined up. Good. You got to pay attention to everything so that we can strengthen the right muscles there. Um, set the shoulders, deepen your abs. Same thing here. Now the knee goes straight forward. Don't let it, the band pull you to the side. Exhale, straighten the legs, pull your kneecap up. Feel that inner kneecap muscle. That's the money. <laughs> Inhale. These are the abs of your knee joint, the VMO. Pull the kneecap up to keeping the shoulders back and down. Exhale. Pull it up. Deepen the abs. Three. Inhale. Got to pay attention to everything. Four. Because we use everything as we're moving around in space or, you know, functionally through life. Exhale five, and everything can either kind of cause more injury or it can cause everything to get better over time as well. Six, good. Inhale and exhale seven, pulling up. Inhale, exhale on eight, good. Bending the knee forward. Exhale, nine, good, inhale, and exhale on 10, excellent. Okay, we're going to walk in, take the resistance off, good, and now we're going to take that band, we're going to go around the ankle of your first leg, and then we're going to 
um, walk away a little bit so that you have a resistance around your ankle. And then put it right where the ankle would crease. Now that's going right above your ankle bones there. Um, and then we're going to work on flexion of your ankle joint. And I'll explain that as we go along. So do a little step forward. It's like you're taking a step if you are out for a walk. Yeah. Now, um, your knee is a compensatory joint. Yeah, it will compensate for what you lack at your ankle as well as your hip joint. It is in the middle. <laughs> so it uh, can't be separated from what's happening at the hip and then in this case, the ankle. Yeah, so we're gonna pay attention to, first of all, how your feet are aligned up. So look at that and then use a wall or anything you need to if, you, um, if balance is an issue. Now, key to this is keep your ankle down as well as foot straight, yeah. So we're gonna bend your knees here. This time the knee is going forward over the foot and you're gonna keep your heel down and then straighten. Now, if that doesn't work for you, you step back, yeah. Um, so you just bend as much as you can. But this is so important for knee health is to be able to be able to bend your ankle without lifting your heel and not having pain in your knee as the knee goes forward over the foot. Yeah. Um, you know, long time ago, we were told not to take the knee forward of your toes. Um, that's definitely a myth. Yeah. So we do this in everyday life when we're going up and down stairs. So, and then also you need to train this so that when you do hit this movement, you're not breaking down your knee each time you bend. Yeah. And coming up, we're going to take about five more here. And so bend knee, heel down. You should feel a stretch in the Achilles and to lengthen. Good. Bending your knee straight forward over the toes. Yeah. Keeping that heel down should feel kind of good. Hopefully <laughs> a nice stretch here. Good. And the band is giving you this really good you know, cue to bend at your ankle joint. Yeah. And then working on that flexibility will actually take stress off of your knee joint, particularly your pella, patella, um, you know, over time. We're going to do two more on this side. Good. Let's inhale, exhale, deepen your abs as you're lifting. Good. Do one more. Inhale and exhale now walk yourself back take resistance off and let's do that on the other side so just slip your other foot in good and then just to try to find that same resistance um, but again if it doesn't work on one side to go as far forward do what you can do to you know not feel pain let's pull the abdominals in shoulders back and down good let's see how we do on this side so you're bending at the ankle joint knee goes forward and then lengthen it up pull the kneecaps up good 10 of those inhale again support yourself if you need to good and lifting good inhale and exhale, drawing the abdominals in and up. Good. I'm going to call that three. Inhale. Good. And each leg is a little different. We try to balance out as much as we can. But if you've had an injury on one side, there's definitely going to be a difference. And it's fine. Yeah. So that's why we just practice. And you've got to do these little exercises in order to balance both sides out. Yeah. That's the beauty of kind of, you know, these type of exercises, as well as Pilates, it really helps to balance both sides out. Inhale and exhale for four more. Let's go ahead and inhale here. Exhale, three, good. Inhale to bend. Exhale, two, good. And we'll do one more inhale and exhale good now walk back good to take resistance off and then go ahead and leave that now we're going to do one more thing we're going to do this in a kind of a sitting position but i'll give you lots of options so go ahead and meet me on the mat yeah so we'll lower down 
good. And we are going to work with our legs in a straight position. Good. Now, it, it, it's really hard for a lot of people to sit up tall if you've got shorter hamstrings here. So I'm going to give you options. Yeah. Um, I would actually start with yourself lying back on your forearms. Now, you can also lean back on some cushions as well. Yeah, but I will show this for you for right now. Yeah, and then eventually you want to work your way up into a position like so, yeah, which we'll do in a little bit. But let's try this. Good. Now you are loading your arms, so you don't want to be back here by sinking into your shoulders. Push through the forearms and set your shoulders down your back. Now reach through the heels and pull the kneecaps up. So you should feel that from the band position. Good. And then deepen your abs. Now we're going to inhale here. Exhale. Let's float one leg up. Good. And then inhale to lower. Good. Now you actually might need to lay all the way down if you're feeling your back here or really support your body. You could lean up against a couch or a chair or the wall. Yeah. So you can really support your body. Try it in different positions because this is really great for your quads. Exhale to lift. Yeah. So you should feel the whole kind of quadricep uh, you know, front of the thigh. And you want to do this with a straight leg. Yeah. So straight leg, keep the kneecap pulling up yeah? and then lower down. Exhale, deepen your abs and lift. Good. Try not to sink into the shoulders. Exhale, five more. Inhale. Exhale, reach through the heel. Four. Good. And exhale, try not to let the pelvis move. That's where the abdominals come in. Three, good. Exhale, two, nice. And last one, good. Let's lower that leg down. Good, you wanna keep that leg active. We're going to the other side. Exhale, pull that other kneecap up and float the leg up. One, go into 10. Slide the shoulders down. Exhale, two. Good, inhale. It's gotta be a perfectly straight leg in order to really take advantage of this exercise. Three, good, inhale, deepen your abs, four. So you don't wanna hurt your back when you're trying to you know, strengthen another joint here. Exhale, everything's gotta contribute. Good, five, nice. And exhale, six. Once again, doing this a couple of times a day is super valuable, seven. Good, particularly if you've got knee issues. Exhale, eight, good. And exhale, nine, nice. One more and exhale on 10, good. Now I'm gonna show this to you in a more of a upright position. Yeah, so whenever, you know, you can do this, that does require a little bit more hamstring length. Now you might have to lean back a little bit, but try not to sink here. Yeah, so get up, get as upright as you can, and it's going to put more force through these muscles, um, which is, you know, what we're trying to strengthen. Yeah, and so don't sink into the shoulders, do an inhale here, and we're going to do 10 here, exhale 10. So if that doesn't work for you, go back onto your forearms, you could also do this laying down, exhale two, good, inhale, deepen your abs, exhale three, good, reach through the heel, perfectly straight leg four. It's got to be straight in order to take advantage of this particular exercise. Five, good. Exhale, six, nice. And seven, this is really valuable if bending the knee, you know, is painful. Eight, at least you have something to do where you're not bending it and you're strengthening it. Two more, nine, and one more on 10, other side, exhale, reaching through the heel. And one leg might be, you know, easier than the other, which is kind of the issue for all of us. If you're human, we got kind of imbalances from side to side. Exhale, three, good, deepen your abs, just paying attention to your shoulders, four. Good, exhale, five, good. Exhale, six, nice. And seven, good. Deepen your abs, just three more, eight, good. Big exhale, nine, keep breathing. 
And last one on 10. Excellent. Okay. We will finish with those four today. Hopefully that was helpful. Keep working on your knees as well as core. Thank you so much for joining me.